Sadaka mtazamaji shukran kwa kuendelea kusalia nami kwenye jukwaa la KTN ambapo hii leo naendeleza mazungumzo na uh, Kimani Kuria mheshimiwa Kimani Kuria ambaye ni mbunge wa Molo na vile vile pia ni mwenyekiti wa kamati ya fedha kwenye bunge la kitaifa asante sana na pia nimeungana naye Patrick Kishuru ambaye ni mtaalamu wa masuala ya biashara mjadala um, uh, mkuu ukiwa ni kuhusiana na ukuaji wa pato la taifa uh, je tutakuwa tunaweza kufika trilioni nne au tano uh, ifikapo mwisho wa mwaka uh, wa, wa fedha unaokuja uh, na vile vile pia itakuwa na athari gani na manufaa gani kwa mkenya wa kawaida karibu ni tena kwenye sehemu hii ya pili ya jukwaa la KTN tukizungumzia masuala ya bajeti mheshimiwa tumekuwa na tabia kama taifa kuweka bajeti ya juu zaidi kushinda zile fedha ambazo tunazo kwenye hazina na nafikiri limeathiri pakubwa katika masuala ya kukua kwa pato na vile vile pia kukusanya ushuru kwa upande wako uh, swala kama hili linafaa kukabiliwa vipi na iwapo litakuwa linakabiliwa basi uh, manufaa yake itakuwa ni yapi katika kuweza kuongeza ile pato Asante sana. Uh, nafikiri lazima tukubali kama nchi tutumie ile budget process tunaita zero best. Mm -hmm. Ya kwamba zile fedha ambazo tuna allocate kwa whether ni state department ama kwa ministry inakuwa it is not dependent on what they got last year because uh, nafikiri ile shida kubwa na mapo mahali ambapo tumekuwa tukipoteza pesa mingi na mahali ambapo sasa bajeti yetu inaenda inakuwa kubwa ni kwa sababu tuseme kama wizara ya afya kama mwaka jana wali, waliweza kupokea 3 billion mm -hmm. basi automatic inakuwa the following financial year lazima ya, yaanzie eh, billion mm -hmm. tatu kwenda juu mm -hmm. na inaweza kuwa sababu yenye eh, hiyo ministry ilifikisha shilingi bilioni tatu katika al, eh, budget yao ni kwa sababu walikuwa pengine na one of Uh, project uh, ya, ya, ya pesa mingi. Kwa hivyo I think we need to, to look at our budget with a, like literally with a toothpick, you know, mm -hmm. and find out item by item so that uh, through your project zero based budgeting do do ya cha kuwa lazima a particular state department or or, or parasato or saga iweze kupata zile pesa ambazo ilikuwa inapata huo mwaka uliopita. Mm -hmm. uh, na pili kuna entities ambazo siku zote zimekuwa ziki make losses na nafikiri kuna um, the thinking ya kwamba uh, serikali the government is not very good at doing business mm. uh, so a government should only offer those services that cannot be offered by the private sector mm. uh, ili ya kwamba hizi uh, parastatos ambazo kila mwaka lazima tuwape pesa na unapata wana provide uh, services ambazo uh, zinakuwa zina provide about whether where other private uh, institutions on provide the same service are making a profit mm -hmm. na kwa mfano ukiangalia kama shirika letu la Kenya Airways you know mm -hmm. unaangalia unapata other smaller airlines are making a profit mm -hmm. lakini Kenya Airways kila mwaka wana make wana make losses mm -hmm. na ukiangalia uh, even the cost of the tickets itakuwa ni, ni, ni mara ni, ni very expensive kuliko za, za kampuni zing, uh, airlines zingine mm -hmm. unapata hata um, Uh, kuna directive ya serikali kwamba all, all flights all, all flights expenditures za, mm -hmm. za, za government uh, uh, za serikali lazima zipitie kwa kwa Kenya mm -hmm. so, so we must have that conversation in mm -hmm. that uh, those government agencies that uh, we are spending a lot of money on mm -hmm. that can be done and those services can be provided by the private sector mm -hmm. wacha zifanywe na private sector wow, wacha zifanywe like na serikali kwa sababu with the time tumeona kwamba serikali sio sio nzuri sana does not do well kwa kufanya biashara wacha serikali provide is those essential services that cannot be provided by the private sector and let private sector be allowed to provide those services uh, uh, that they can provide ambazo serikali is, uh, the government of Kenya is doing is providing them at a loss no, asante na patrick kwa upande wako kama mtaalamu wa masuala ya biashara biashara zinaweza kuwa na mchango gani katika ukuaji wa uchumi tukaangalia kwamba sasa hivi uchumi pia unadorora na haufanyi vizuri sana na uchumi usipofanya vizuri basi pia pato la taifa aliezi kuwa litakuwa kwenye nafasi nzuri ya kuboreka Asante sana. Uh, kama tulisema hapo awali, kama serikali inaweza weka enabling environment, biashara zinaweza you know, zinaweza grow. Mm -hmm. Na kuna idea moja tumekuwa tukifuata. Mm -hmm. Hii ya uh, watu kutoka activities mm -hmm. na jua kali wakiungana wa wanaweza kuwa badala ya kutafuta kazi, mm -hmm. wakue employ watengeneze wafungue biashara zao. Mm -hmm but that can only happen kama kuna enabling environment. Mm. Alafu ile ingine saa hii kuna the new ministry of uh, cooperative and uh, SMEs. Cooperatives mm. zimekuwa worldwide ndio zimekuwa zikinua ile mkulima mdogo. Mm. Paka tunasemanga 
cooperatives meet the government halfway because watu waki wakiungana pamoja waanze kufanya biashara fulani mm. kama ni marketing ya produce kama ni wakulima ah mm. uh, kama ni wafanyabiashara wana wanaweka you know resources zao pamoja mm. wanaweza kujinua kimaisha mm. yes alafu kama serikali inaweza you no know, allow wao watu wadogo waanze biashara kama cooperatives because mm. uh, cooperatives uh, the, like work on cooperatives mm. zile mwenye me, the members ndio na run your business mm. ina zasaidia sana na tumeona in nchi zingine kama ni sema Canada, US na Spain hata watu wawili wanaanza anza biashara ya cooperative mm. inakuanga just one form of incorporation mm. so long as wakiandika watu wanakuwa members mm. that is how it grows hapa Kenya lazima ukue na 10 plus mm. people in fact uh, unaambiwa wakuja ishirini mm. ndio 10 10 wakiwa sio serious mm. uh, they will always have 10 people we, we need to change you know that kind of thinking mm. tufanye hiyo experiment tuseme kama mtu mtu mmoja anaanza limited company why not two people mm -hmm. watengeneze ino you know, shama ya ushirika na wajiandike na waandike watu wengine mm -hmm. kwa masharti ya kilegezo pia ta, uh, ongeza mazingira bora zaidi katika kufanya biashara na kukuza uchumi na. asante pati kwa upande wako mheshimi wa swala la bagatuzi tumeingia mwaka moja tangu tuanzisha serikali za bagatuzi na tumeona changamoto ambayo ipo sana katika bagatuzi ni kukosa kuweza kujitegemea katika kuzalisha uh, kuzalisha vile vile mapato kwenye yale maeneo ya bagatuzi je swala la kuweza kujitegemea katika kuweza kuongeza pato kama bagatuzi litakuwa lina uh, mchango gani mkubwa katika kukusanya pato la taifa na pia kuliongeza asante sana hadia na kabla nijibu swali lako ningetaka kumueleza uh, bwana patrick ya kwamba yeah. uh, wakati tunafanya amendment ya cooperative act hilo swala ambalo umeongea ya ku reduce membership the minimum members from 10 to 2 ni jambo ambalo ningetaka wakati tunafanya public participation ukuje useme eh, wakati tunafanya public participation na hiyo act of parliament eh, eh, tachukua namba yako nitakualika ili those ideas that you have pia reach our loss utuambie utueleze ni kwa nini alafu usikize pia kwa party utasema nini tusikie sasra ambayo ni regulatory authority ya cooperative tusema nini so that we see how to to incorporate that idea into law uh, mambo ya serikali ya ukatuzi nafikiri hadia uh, sana sana sisi wa Kenya tunasahau ya kwamba tuko na serikali 48. Hatuna serikali moja, tuna serikali 48. Tuna serikali moja ya ile national ya kitaifa na kuna zingine saba, 47 zile za county. Unapata kwamba wakati tunaangazia mambo ya maendeleo, tunaangazia mambo ya ufujaji wa pesa ama ama, ama ama mambo yote ambayo tunaangazia whether it's that tumesema cost of doing business tunaangazia sana zile policies ambazo zinafanywa na serikali ya kitaifa mm -hmm. nafikiri ni wakati sasa sisi tujue ya kwamba tuna serikali zingine 47 ambazo lazima tuangalie kwa makini sana tuangalie jinsi ambazo wanatumia uh, uh, fedha zao kwa mfano nafikiri nimeziona nime nafikiri kwa habari siku ya jana ya kwamba serikali za county sio kama ni gani ama ni zote wameweza ku eh, magari uh, na wakiangalia ile cost ambayo wana lease those vehicles uh, ni, 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 ni kama bei ya kuinunua in, in, in the next you know, two or three years so lazima as a country first of all we do a lot of emphasis kwa kuangalia kama kwa mfano eh, some, some county governments unapata ukiangalia ukiangalia kama vile hawa governors wapya wameajiriwa kazi wengi wao kitu ya kwanza ilifanya ni kuwafuta wengine na kuajiri wengine so unapata first of all hiyo serikali za county hazina ile uh, going concern ya kwamba kuna that mentality ya kwamba uh, kama kuna governor mpya lazima uh, kwanza afute wale wote ambao maafisa ambao walikuwa pale ili apate kuajiri watu wake mm -hmm. na wakati sasa hawa watu wanaajibiwa kwa, kwa hivyo inapata kwamba there is no that continuity so in terms of uh, economic planning uh, of those particular counties mm -hmm. and then pia tuangazie pia wale uh, members of county assemblies mm -hmm. uh, ukiangalia katika uh, competitiveness ya, ya uchaguzi E, kuna watu wengi sana ambao wanataka kuwa wabunge wanataka kuwa maseneta mm -hmm. no uh, uh, zile viti mbili ambazo zina attract the highest number mm -hmm. ni MPs na governors senator 
sio sana MCA sio sana lakini mahali ambapo really as a country tunafaa ku focus na ndio maana tunahitaji quality leadership kama ya ni other county assemblies mm. so that wale ma MCAs tuhakikisha kwamba we have MCAs that have capacity mm. to oversight counties mm. na kuwe pia kuna uh, you know good link uh, good link uh, linkage programs ya yeah, hawa MCAs so, so that uh, they are able now to borrow a leave from uh, kutoka kwa, kwa other counties na pia uh, zile shirika za uh, uh, the even and government institutions mm-hmm. ambazo zina deal na mambo ya ya governance mm-hmm. waweze ku focus more na ku, na kuongeza empowerment ya ya members of county assemblies mm-hmm. na pia tuweze ku educate community pia uh, kazi ya MCA sio kwenda tu mazishi ama kufanya kuna kazi hizo za legislator mm-hmm. so that wapewe pia hiyo nafasi ya na heshima katika community na na time mm-hmm. so that they are able now to to address Uh, uh, their, uh, their role ya yeah, oversight serikali za county so that we start getting value for money kwa zile pesa ambazo tunazituma kwa counties mm. na pia counties wajibike kwa zile revenue na raise no. na mshindi sema i think we need to do a revision ya yeah, revenue sharing formula ili kwamba zile counties ambazo wako able to generate uh, revenue inakuwa uh, they are given more kutoka kwa kwa kwa, kwa national kwa zina ya kitaifa yes na kwa pate kupande wako tukizungumzia masuala ya biashara kama mtaalam ku, kuweza kukopa ndani ya nchi uh, kwa serikali uh, na kuacha kopa nje ya nchi kutakuwa kuna athari gani kwa wafanya biashara wa huko nchini na wawekezaji okay kukopa kwa ndani uh, ya nchi mm-hmm. ni kwanga rahisi sana kama uh, na kukopa kwa bank mm-hmm. kama uko na records na uko na hiyo uh, you know hiyo uhusiano na bank inakuanga rahisi lakini um, interest na kuaga juu lakini je iwapo serikali itakuwa ina, inaacha kukopa madeni nje na kuamua watakuwa nakopa ndani ya nchi uh, kwenye vituo uh, kwenye vituo vya fedha ambavyo ninyi pia mnataka kukopa kama wafanyabiashara itakuwa na athari vipi wafanyabiashara wa huko nchini na biashara kwa jumla um, kama serikali inakopa ino ndani ya nchi mm-hmm. itakuwa wafanyabiashara waezi pata hiyo mkopo kutoka kwa bank sababu the government in a less risk it is zero risk alafu mfanye biashara biashara inazanguka uh, ama shida ku ya shida ku kulipa alafu kuko pa nje uh, inakuanga expensive sai dora inakuanga 120 na above na education itakuwaje na ukikopa na dola risk ya exchange inakuanga kubwa sana lakini huko nje kuna pesa you know shipper money kuna watu wanaweza kama ni ya uh, social eh, inaweza saidia you know the common mwananchi kuna watu wako hata na zero interest rate so long as kudakuwa na for example government ina serikali ina guarantee hiyo mm. pesa italipwa hapa mm. tuko na na history mbaya ya, ya kutolipa because uh, ukiangalia in the news that is all we talk about watu wameshindwa kulipa watu wataki kulipa hiyo inakuanga tumejaribu mara kadhaa especially watu wa uh, sako kuleta you know investors wale wanaweza patia na pesa lakini hakuna mtu wa ku guarantee that uh, ukipatia sako ipatie mwananchi hiyo pesa itarudi alafu hapa nchini kuna sako ziko na pesa lakini kuna ile inaitangwa a uh, you know led of last resort haijawahi mm-hmm. tumeongea miaka mingi miaka kumi na kitu lakini haijawahi kuwa in place mm-hmm. where kama sako iko na pesa excess inaweza yaka kwa hiyo pool and ni regulated ile sako iko na shida inaweza okopa hapo cause kuna wengine wako na cycle kuna wakati kama wakulima majani kuna wakati wako na bonus pesa ni mingi watu mm-hmm. wa uh, copy kuna wengine wanataka school fees wanaweza kopa kwa hiyo pool mm-hmm. Asante. Mama, asante pati kwamba kuna kizungumkuti hapo serikali inapokopa ndani wafanyabiashara wanakosa mikopo inapokopa nje deni linakuwa kubwa mm-hmm. <laughs> tukirudi kwako mheshimiwa labda uh, tukizungumzia swala la kupunguza matumizi ya serikali uh, kama rais alivyotaja ili majuzi kwamba nataka kupunguza matumizi na bilioni mia tatu ili labda tuweze kuwa tunaongeza pato zaidi la taifa uh, maoni yako ni yapi kuhusiana na hili uh, kwanza ni kushukuru sana mheshimiwa rais kwa la decision ya kwamba kupunguza bajeti yetu na shilingi bilioni 300. Na kwa sababu najua hiyo itafanyika basi 
at least we know that we didn't even need that 300 billion shillings in the first place na hizi ndio pesa nafikiri zile ambazo zilikuwa zinasemekana zilikuwa zinaibiwa kila siku kwa sababu wakati eh, particular department wamepewa hela ambazo hawazihitaji ama sio kwa priority yao basi ndio wanapata reason ya, ya, ya kuweza kuziba but i think most importantly mm -hmm. lazima tukuwe na we revise our national price policy mm -hmm. kwa sababu eh, ukiangalia <coughs> kalamu kama hii mm -hmm. kila mtu kila mkenya anajua kalamu hii pengine ni shilingi 100 mm -hmm. Lakini wakati hii kalamu inanunuliwa na serikali. Hivyo mkenya wa kawaida tu ukimwambia eh, niletee kalamu hii upeleke when you apply to the government mm -hmm. bei ya kalamu inatoka shilingi 100 nena hadi shilingi 500. Mm -hmm. So lazima uh, those uh, products and services ambazo mm -hmm. uh, across all government departments wanaweza kutumia especially kwa recurrent like hizo vitu za kawaida kama air tickets mm -hmm. kama stationery those things that Uh, that we can find out the market rate alafu alafu ya kwamba uh, that price is fixed so that kama ni kalamu inanunuliwa in whichever state department it has been bought at that particular price na hiyo price is kwa sababu kwa sababu nafikiri hapo ndio tunakuwa tukipoteza pesa mingi mm -hmm. na pia in as much as possible kama itawezekana hiyo uh, hiyo bei ikiweza kuwa the market price hata ile interest iko na wale tunaita tenderpreneurs kwa serikali itakosa na kwa hivyo tu tutakuwa tuna wale ambao wanataka the legitimate business people ambao wanataka ku supply legitimate products and services at legitimate prices kwa serikali mm -hmm. kwa sababu that is where again uh, we have been really losing out of money kwa napata kwa mfano kwamba pengine wakati nimesafiri eh, mahali kikazi mm -hmm. na tikiti yangu imelipwa ime, ime, na serikali napata nikikombea na wakati mimi nalipa uh, binafsi nikipurchase hiyo hiyo ticket mm -hmm. through the same travel agent mm -hmm unapata kwamba bei ni tofauti kabisa mm. na unashangaa basi then how is it that uh, kuna government rate na kuna mm. hii mm. lakini pia uh, so that i be fair to business people especially ambao wanafanya kazi na serikali mm. ile sababu nyingine wamekuwa wakiongeza hiyo bei mm. ni kwa sababu hajui atalipwa lini mm. so i think also at the same time mm. uh, we need now to, to to have a policy mm. of uh, uki, uki, ukifanya uki supply yeah. product or service mm. ukifanya biashara na serikali mm unafaa kulipwa in how many days in uh, so that you know uh, ufanye kama ni hiyo cost of credit kama umekopa hiyo pesa ndio supply that product or service kwa serikali so that uweze kujipanga so that again tuweze kupunguza the costs ya 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 ya, ya, ya serikali kununua uh, product and services kutoka kwa bank na asante mheshimiwa kwa kumalizia Patrick tu nimeona umefurahia umefurahia <laughs> hoja ambao ameibwa mheshimiwa kwamba akuwa uh, kuna muda ambao umetengwa kwa kuwa unapofanya biashara na serikali utakuwa unalipwa ndani ya muda uh, fulani ndio pia usiwe utaweka uh, uh, bei ya juu mno labda kwa upande wako tu kwa kuongezea na kumalizia kwa sababu muda umekwisha maoni yako ni yapi um, as asante sana hiyo ni, ni very good idea mm. serikali kuwe na service shutter ndio unajua ukitaka unajua service fulani mm. inachukua muda gani uki supply kitu unalipwa after you know, muda fulani mm. alafu um, ile tumesema juu ya yeah, like import uh, mm. import duties mm. zikuwe you know zikuwe reliable something that is published mm -hmm. na as it change at kila siku ina change yeah. alafu enabling environment kwa business mm -hmm. enable business uh, people to come together and start business mm -hmm. tupue na license moja kama governor Nairobi uh, disema mm -hmm. one license ukifungua duka unajua that is the only license mm -hmm. Yes. Naam asante, asante Patrick. Mtazamaji huyu alikuwa ni Patrick Gishuru ambaye ni mtaalamu wa sala biashara. Asante sana kwa kuja. Pia vile vile alikuwa nimeungana naye Mheshimiwa Kimani Kuri ambaye ni mbunge wa Molo na vile vile pia ni mwenyekiti wa kamati ya fedha kwenye bunge la kitaifa. Tukio tunatathmini uh, iwapo mpango wa kuongeza pato la taifa kutoka trilioni mbili hadi trilioni nne kuelekea tano utakuwa unawezekana na utakuwa unawezekana vipi. Asante sana kwa kutizama jukwaa la KTN. Nimekuwa kwa hadi ya mwasi ndani ya muda siku mrefu. Mwanzangu Mary Atoli atakuwa anakujiza ile bufa na kugonga vichwa vya habari ndani ya taarifa za KTN leo. Hadi wakati mwingine tena kwa heri.